welcome back to school of civil engineering this is Atla with new video of CSS app 2000 version 20 okay, in this lecture I'm not going to show that how will assign earthquake load okay as per design code okay so first of all I'll just go here define then I'll go load pattern and here Uh, as we have used ECDC option for all that's why it's a generated use data so I'll just simply delete all of it delete load pattern I'll just delete uh, that go to go for it actually that is the that, that, that is the problem of this is a version get huge amount of data as first I'll delete that and after that as per Excel sheet calculated data I'll just modify that so it's okay right now I'll go for earthquake yes so uh, when it's okay now I'll just go here modify lateral load pattern and from here first of for x it will be global x direction okay and uh, then eccentric ratio 0 0.05 for all after that from here we will select time period right so first of all I'll just open our excel sheet and our previous lecture I have just told you that which steps of load will use right so first of all we have to consider the self weight of self weight of a floor then we have to consider apply the dead load then we have to consider floor finish and partition and also we have to consider 25% of live load applied at live load so i'm just um, considering that or that total load will be 20 okay or the total load will be 20 but you have to calculate it that i'm just showing you that how we'll work with that and in your previous lecture I have just uh, shown you that how will find out length, width, and uh, number of stories z plus 3 that means that that's a 4 and uh, height above base from base that is 40 feet and here soil type you have to select by clicking here from drop down list you have to select soil type as per your requirement okay and from here town I'm just using uh, Jaka of Bangladesh then from here you are able to, if you uh, move that then you will be able to change as per your uh, city actually if you are outside Bangladesh then you can told me or you can mail me for that excel sheet and I'll just give you and you'll be able to change that as you record actually but for that you have to talk with me first and after that I'll just give you that excel sheet and you will be able to change that excel sheet as per your record pen and uh, actually that, that sheet is as per I have created that sheet as per ASCE, ACI, and also as per BNBC. That um, I mean, both three code that are mostly related. Okay, and actually, um, BNBC follow ASCE seven ten or seven five, and also uh, the upper version. It's not problem. So uh, after that, the just we have to change from data. In that yellow box okay so from here if you select that okay, dual system and after that had the quiz steps of moment resisting frame system no share all after that we have to select from here okay then ordinary uh, then intermediate reinforced concrete moment frame like that then a percent of here you have to just give a percent of critical damping 
Okay, then from here is structure type which types of a structure actually CMRF. Okay, so what is actually that CMRF? If you come here in here, okay, or if you come here, then you will be here. Just see here concrete moment resting frame CM RF, and then uh, is still moment resting. So everything is available here actually. Okay, so every data I have uh, input here from ASCE or BNBC, but uh, that value are as per Bangladeshi for Bangladeshi research or work and that will not work for other country just if you want to work with that data just simply you have to change that data as per requirement simply and i will give you that access after discussing about that uh, okay and if you need that you can mail me right so when it's done and also you'll be able to see your data here and actually i have created a video on it Okay, I have created a video on it that how we'll use that option perfectly and how we'll apply assign that load on S, uh, I mean ETFs. So that video link are given in description and also the, and there I have provided here a protected protected sheet. I mean you, are, you will be not able to change anything from here except using that software. Right. So when it's done, uh, when everything is done, now here we'll get our data. Right. Here we'll get our data. Okay, so here the building period just uh, here. First of all, we'll take data for T. Here, I'll come here. Uh, I'll just select user defined actually. I'll select user defined, and what will be the value of T? Value of T that will be here. You are seeing that that will be 0. 443 I'll just assign that value 0 0.443 after that I'll just come here what about the value of s s okay so here we're seeing that the value okay I, I'm just giving one by one r value of r what about the value of r that is 5 here uh here value of r that is 5 after that, I'm just going for next on CD. What will be the CD is 4.5. So where is the CD? That is 4.5. After that, uh, SS 0 0.5 and S 0 0.2. That is 0 0.5 and 0 0.2. Okay. And long period. Okay. I'm just taking data from here. And FA 1.15, 1.725. FA and FB 1.15, 1.725. And here for uh, providing FA, just if you have soil property from here, you can select. It's up to you. Okay. But if you need to change that, if you need to change that, that you can use F and you'll be able to change. So 1.15 and 1.725 maybe okay uh, and uh, that is that will create generate automatically after that everything is okay and occupancy important what is the occupancy, occupancy important actually so from here the uh, importance factor i 1.25 and everything is okay right and uh, the system omega is omega and that is omega 3 and transition uh, transition long transition uh, pure transition that is 2 and omega 3 I'll just give it omega 3 and that will be 2 just see here how perfectly we have provided our all load here right we have provided everything here now I'll simply click OK and again if I want to see something here so everything is okay right then okay and similarly similarly just we have to work with that EQY 
Okay, just one thing we have to modify. Uh, modify lateral load. Just there will be global Y, and it will we have to change zero point. Or maybe how was that value? Four point zero point four four three. Four four three. Four four three. Then that was zero point five. That was zero point two. That was uh, two, and f that was 1.15 that was 1.725 maybe and it will be automatically and then it is 5 and that is 3 and it will be 4.5 and it will be 1.25 right so everything is okay here we have not defined all everything perfectly after that okay so in this way we are able to define our earthquake load perfectly and finally i am just telling you if you need that excel sheet you have to contact with me uh, and uh, after discussing about that i will just give you and uh, one thing you will be able to change that as per asce if your country follow asce code or you will be able to change that excel sheet for uh, in ASC format but um, if you contact with me and if you deal with that then I will just I mean if you deal with that and then I will just give you that the, that file without protection and you will be able to use that file absolutely for free so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video and you know next video I'm just going to show that how we assign we load as per Excel sheet okay I mean uh, already I have created a program I've created a program on it and I will just give you the Excel file and if you are a Bangladeshi then you are welcome and if you're not a Bangladeshi you are also welcome and uh, you have to contact with me and you have to discuss with me and I'll just give you that both file absolutely uh, editable in editable format so thank you thank you very much as well stay connected till next video